Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I am just gonna be showing you guys a real simple refresh that I did in my room. So. Right now, as winter is getting ready to close out, I feel like spring brings along this new energy, a fresh energy. Everything is new, everything blooms, you know, all of that good stuff. And I am huge about refreshing spaces. I have probably been changing my room around literally since I was a teenager, even, probably even before that. I think from the moment I was able to kind of like move my bed from one side of the room to another, the moment I was strong enough to do it, I was constantly moving stuff around. Like every couple of months, my bed, my dresser, my nightstands, things were always in a different place. And I find that I'm no different even today. Now I just have a whole house to work with. I'm always changing something, constantly refreshing something, but I feel like I'm at a point where if you don't like something, change it. And my space needs to make me feel good. I'm a stay at home mom, I work from home, I'm here pretty much all day, every day. So the space needs to feel good. But my master bedroom, I feel like has undergone the most changes probably in the whole house just because us as people were constantly changing and I want to make a space that I feel really good in that my husband feels good in and that feels like a retreat when I come back here at the end of the day from dealing with everything that I deal with on a daily basis I want my room to feel good my room was never clean when I was a kid it was all my room was always messy, it was always junky, and I carried a lot of that baggage into my adult life, and it wasn't until literally just a couple of years ago and really sort of like stepping into this YouTube journey as well that really helped me to start getting things in order and getting things organized. I had been hearing the words, get your house in order, um, in my quiet time for a really long time, and it took me a while to understand fully what that meant. Getting your house in order to me was more than just the surface. It was getting your house in order in all different areas, and that physically physically, mentally, spiritually, but changing things up, you guys, always brings along this new energy. So if you're needing a little bit of new energy or fresh energy, literally when you change your space around, you are breaking up stagnant energy. You know, you're shifting the energy in that room and in that space and making it brand new again. And that new feeling to me is always inspirational and it motivates me to, you know, either want to do more or it gives me new inspirations or new ideas because it's just a new space to be in. So, refreshing a space can be real simple. It doesn't always take a whole lot of things to do. And so I think I want to start this as kind of like a series as we get ready to lead into the springtime, um, that time when everything is fresh and new. And I want to do a couple of different videos on room refreshes. And then I want to challenge you guys to refresh a space of your own. Not spending a ton of money or anything like that, but really just working with what you have to change things around to make your space feel new. So if you guys are interested in seeing a series like that where I kind of refresh several different areas in my house and then we all do this big challenge together and you guys can like send your pictures on Instagram and stuff so I can see your refreshes, let me know. Drop it in the comments below or definitely give this video a thumbs up. Um, the kids are banging on the door. So if you hear noise in the background, that's probably them. They're ready to bust inside in three, two, one. Anyways, that's it. I am going to stop babbling. Let's jump right into today's video. I'm so in love with like what I did to my room. Super simple, but it changed everything. Okay, so I'm going to be putting some paint on the walls in my room, which I meant to do a long time ago. This is like a long time coming. This should have already been done, but it wasn't. And I think it's completely gonna change the way things feel in here and make it a whole lot brighter. Now my room is still a work in progress because I don't know, I, I think I have a hard time figuring out like wall decor. I, as crazy as it is to say, I think wall decor is one of those things that's kind of special like you you kind of gotta either just have an eye for it or you know take your time in finding pieces to go on the wall and to me I think that the pieces that go on the wall are important they should mean something you know they're what's displayed on the walls of your home like literally just think about that statement what are you displaying you know does it represent you is it your style is it your taste or do you just throw some stuff up on the wall so some stuff I have just thrown up on the wall and I'm gonna probably change that out later but let's go I got work to do
all done with that. Looks good so far. I can't wait to hang up my wreath because I feel like that green is gonna pop off this gray. It's kind of hard to see because I have the light on. But when I just looked from the hallway, I'm pretty much like loving it and I can't wait to put these like pops of green. Like I love the way that this looks against this wall with the green, so I'm excited. Let me see if I can show you from the door. So I think it still doesn't look all that obvious, but I can tell a huge difference by looking at it though. Alrighty, so there goes my finished wall. It's gray and it's definitely not the same gray as the wall that is over here. So I swear this room just looks all accented, but when you're in here, you can't really tell. The camera picks it up much, I guess, worse than it looks to the natural eye, but I love it. I love that the brown is gone. I love that it looks open. It's so bright when you walk in here. Um, I washed our linens. Is it bad that I'm not gonna iron the duvet cover? Like, I'm really not, but I'm gonna make the bed, put the pillows back on the bed, have a huge pile of laundry over here that needs to get folded and put away. Alrighty guys, that's it. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it all the way until this point. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Addie. Welcome to Growing with the Greens. <laughs> Feel free to take a look around at any of our other videos. There are vlogs, cleaning videos, motivational, inspirational, and all of the above. I am the Addy of all trades. And if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I would love to welcome you to our growing fam. As for everyone, don't forget to tap the bell so that you do receive notifications of new videos and daily posts. So I have one challenge for you already, and that is to look around your house, your room, your car, your space, wherever you do well and really observe how you feel. How do you feel when you walk into certain spaces? How do you feel when you walk in your living room? How does it make you feel when you walk in your bedroom? What do you feel like when you get into your car? Like, do you feel good? Do you feel clean? Do you feel, you know, inspired? Do you feel clear-headed? Or do you feel claustrophobic or anxious or disgusted. That is really important when it comes to refreshing a space because the idea of refreshing a space is to make you feel better about the space that you're in. Choose a space, take a deep breath, walk in that space, and observe how you feel. Drop it in the comments below, let me know what space that is, how it makes you feel, and 
what we want to do to maybe think about starting to refresh it. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Damn. Never lost. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money.